Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. And today we're going to get off the subject of food as I do from time to time. And we're going to talk about meditation or breath work and which is right for you. Uh, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I usually do food uh, content here, mostly a raw vegan lifestyle, but I also drop some content like this from time to time. So, you know, subscribe, come back, check it out, see if it's right for you. Maybe it is, maybe not. <laughs> um, you know, I, since I've been doing more of these since I recently started focusing on doing some concentrated breath work and now I'm coming up, I've been doing daily meditation for a year, although I've been a meditator for many, many years. I've just kind of fallen off my track and I've just kind of gotten back into this over the last year. But I found a really good article I want to share with you and I will do my best to drop this in the description below. You know me, I forget sometimes. And also while I'm thinking about it, in the description below there's a link to, um, or there's a yeah, link to the uh, my Facebook page. And I did a recent breathing breathwork video there lately that I didn't put on um, YouTube. So go check that out. And the name of the, this article is Breathwork versus Meditation, What's the Difference and Which is Right for You? Just kind of give an idea of them and then I'm going to give a few thoughts. Breathing is central to most forms of meditation. However, that doesn't mean breathwork and meditation are the same thing. In fact, for many who struggle to sit down and concentrate on their thoughts, breathwork practices are becoming an increasingly viable alternative to traditional meditation. While some people may substitute meditation for breathwork sessions here at MindOwl, that's the name of the site I'm on, mindowl.org, we like to view these practices as complementary, and that's I ju I'm just reading this this morning, but that's my thought as well. Different people may find one method more attractive or effective than the other, but ideally one would combine these approaches to get the best of both worlds. But before we delve, deep, delve deeper into that, let's just let, let's first flesh out the differences between meditation and breath work. What is the difference between meditation and breath work? It's common to wonder what the differences are. Is one better than the other? Put simply, the answer is no. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to each practice, as well as some key differences in, pra in the practice. Meditation focuses on present moment awareness and seeks to generate a more settled, focused mind. Practitioners, practitioners can have various different motivations, but generally speaking, they are linked by a desire to foster well-being and reduce suffering. Meditation is about increasing your awareness of how you operate. It asks you to observe your breath without manipulating it, whereas breath work is a form of active meditation which uses breath, breathing practices to try and alter your mood or mind state. Breathwork exercises seek to affect the autonomic nervous system by altering either the amount of oxygen we inhale or the amount of carbon dioxide we exhale. This exchange is important. Exhaling too much uh, carbon dioxide, for instance, during exercise or a panic attack can cause dizziness or headaches, while restoring CO2 levels leads to greater calmness and relaxation. While we're all aware that being stressed or relaxed can change the speed and depth of our breathing, few of us know that the opposite is also true. We can actually use breath work to alter how we feel physically and mentally. Um, breath work versus meditation. Is breath work an alternative to meditation? Maybe you've tried meditation a few times and you just can't get your head around it. You get distracted or bored or fidgety before giving up. Meditation requires a large amount of concentration and quiet, and this can be frustrating for some people. If this sounds familiar, breathwork could be a simpler, more accessible route towards a better quality of life. And what are the advantages of breathwork? Firstly, it's easy, free, and universal. You don't need a shaman or teacher, and it's already a part of your daily life. Now, what I would say is there are some breathwork practices which it is highly advised to have a breathwork teacher, which I am not. I should always try to say that for new people in the first of the thing. I just like sharing this stuff. I am not a teacher of this stuff. Um, breathwork, on the other hand, doesn't require thinking, and it bypasses some of the mental conflicts which discourage people from meditation. Breathwork exercises also create serious endorphin rushes while clearing energy from your body that you perhaps didn't even know was there. Pranayama. The importance of breathing has been cleared of various cultures and societies for thousands of years. 
The Hindu yogic tradition, pranayama, is responsible for developing some of the earliest breathing exercises. Pranayama is a Sanskrit word meaning breath control or control over prana. Prana meaning a life force that can be harnessed by the breath. An enduring uh, part of yoga practice today, pranayama focuses on conscious breathing with awareness and intent. A more conscious approach to controlling yama, your breath, prana, can help remove emotional and energetic blocks in life and allow us to cope better with anxiety, stress, fatigue, and depression. Um, and there's so many different breathwork exercises. Um, they specifically designed breathing exercises can seriously affect our moods, as well as producing various health benefits. Generally, different techniques will either calm us down, energize, or find an appropriate balance between the two. This is because they'll appeal to either the sympathetic, ner the sympathetic nervous system, the activating part, which is more active during exhalation, or the parasympathetic nervous system, the calming part, which is activated when we inhale. Um, our article on how breathwork can supercharge your meditation dives deeper into the science of breathwork meditation. But for now, let's focus on the pra practical aspects of a few breathing techniques. And I'm not gonna go into these techniques. Um, you can read this if you wanna go down and check out this article. There's balanced breathing. Um, where you kind of take an equal amount of breathing in and out and through your ex inhale and your exhale. There's square breathing. Um, there's calming breath. There's energizing breath. There's breath breathing imagery. There's holotropic breath work, which is that something they do give the warning down here. Do not try without a trained professional um, because there can be, you, you can, it can just mess with you a little bit. Um, Here's a little part two, transitioning from breath work to meditation, and then I'll give you my thoughts on this. We've now taken a look at various types of breathing exercises. It's worth trying as many of these as possible until you find a set of exercises that work for you, resulting in a, in a unique, effective routine. But how can you use breath work as a gateway into meditation? Below are some activities which merge the two in an accessible way. Tune into your body during breath work. A full breath cycle involves your chest, belly, back, and mind. To channel the attentiveness and concentration of meditation, tune into your body when practicing breath work. Focus on the physical elements of your breath and follow these steps. Watch your belly rise and fall. Notice the temperature and moisture of your breath. Take note of the muscles and bones moving in your body. Observe the differences between shallow and deep breathing. Notice your mind's response to breath work. Intertwining meditation and breath work can calm the mind, increase focus, and aid people with mental health issues. Focusing on your mind's response to breath work uh, leads towards the mental and emotional self-awareness that underpins meditation. Um, and that's, like I say, this is a little bit longer article. I, I would suggest going and reading it. It's a really good one. Um, and the reason, like I say, for me, and I, I was doing some breath work the other day, and I've got this really good app for my phone. And no, but before anybody answers, I'm not, they're not sponsored. Man, it's a free app. It's called Awesome Breathing. Um, I have an iPhone. I'm sure you can probably get it um, on um, Android as well. But just look for Awesome Breathing. And it, it, it's got a number of uh, breath work exercises on there. But it also, you follow it on the screen. It's got like a ball. The ball gets bigger as you're inhaling, and it tells you it tells you how long to inhale, how long to exhale, based on very different types of breath work. But as I was doing this the other day, and this is what was leading into me doing this video today, as I was doing my breath work the other morning, I realized my mind was just laser focused because I was focused on the on that breathing. So all I, all that my mind was doing was breathing in, breathing out. Now, like I say, the difference, the subtle difference in that in meditation is, is in when I'm doing the breath work, I am manipulating my breath. I am, um, you know, breathing for a certain number of counts in and another certain number of counts out. Now, my meditation practice up to this point has mostly been mindfulness, breath awareness, and the, the subtle difference there is you're not manipulating your breath. You're not trying to breathe in a certain way when you're meditating. You're just being aware of how your breath is going in and out. But for me, they're just so intertwined because I always find that when I'm meditating and just being aware of my breath, that my breath kind of slows down anyway. So 
when I say um, meditation or breath work, for me, they're going to go hand in hand. But like I say, and this will be, I'll, I'll finish here and this will be the takeaway on that for all the people out there that are interested in doing meditation and have said, well, I just can't meditate every time I sit down, blah, blah, blah. Get this out maybe. This is a great place to start. Get this out and just start with uh, five or 10 minutes of breathing. I do one that's, um, and you'll see this if you go to the, my Facebook page and uh, check out that video. It's a form of, it's, it's, called, it's kind of like the perfect breath it's um, you're breathing basically close 5.5 in breaths uh, per minute and 5.5 out breaths per minute. So you're counting 5.5 in, 5.5 out, which would be difficult without a timer there. And that's just a great place to start. But as I was doing that, and as I've been doing that, I'm realizing that's just it. My mind is focused there. So anyhow, I just enjoy sharing this stuff. I think it's not all about the food, and I think there's a lot of healthy habits in life uh, that we can add um, without just constantly thinking about the food part of it. So anyhow, just my two cents worth. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful rest of the week, and I will see you here on Friday. Peace.